Welcome to the Counting and Clapping tutorial series created by the junior high band teachers of the Gilbert Unified School District in Gilbert, Arizona. Counting and Clapping tutorial number 7, 16th notes. At the end of this tutorial, you should understand how to count and clap single 16th notes, how to count and clap double beamed 16th notes, and how to count and clap various rhythm patterns containing a mixture of notes and rests that include single and double beamed 16th notes. To be successful, you need to already understand the concepts taught in these earlier tutorials. All rhythm tree tutorials, basic time signatures and beats, counting and clapping part 1, conventions, part 2, whole half and quarter notes, part 3, whole half and quarter rests, Part 4, ties and dotted half notes, Part 5, eighth notes, and Part 6, eighth rests. Let's start by reviewing single and double beamed sixteenth notes. Sixteenth notes can be written as single notes, like they are here. Or sixteenth notes can be connected by a double beam, like they are here. But nothing changes except how they look. Two single sixteenth notes get the exact same counting as double beamed sixteenth notes. Most often, beams connect notes into groups of two or four. When writing in the counting, we write in the letter E after each number and the letter A after each plus sign. We have four single sixteenth notes and we would write one E and a. Uh. Then we have two pairs of double beamed sixteenth notes, two E and a, and a group of four double beamed sixteenth notes, three E and a, four E and a. Four sixteenth notes fit into one quarter note. If you look in the lower right corner, you'll see four quarter notes and all of the sixteenth notes above them that need to fit in the same space. That means that sixteenths are four times as fast as quarters. Here's a video showing the counting and clapping of four quarter notes. One, two, three, four. Now a video showing all sixteenth sixteenth notes. One e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a. When counting and clapping sixteenth notes, as with everything else, always check the time signature for the number of beats per bar and write the counting directly underneath the notes. In this example, the top number is a four, so every measure must have four beats. Be sure to count out loud and clap at the start of every note. Our first measure in this example starts with two quarter notes that both get claps. One, two. Count and clap sixteenth notes four times as fast as you did the quarter notes. The next four notes are four single sixteenth notes, so we would clap and count them three E and a. Uh. The next four sixteenth notes are double beamed together. The counting is the same, except it starts on count four. Four E and a. Uh. Count and clap sixteenths two times as fast as eighth notes. So in this next measure, we have four single beamed eighth notes to start the measure. One and two and. Followed by four double beamed sixteenth notes that we would count twice as fast. Three E and a. Uh. We end this measure with four single sixteenth notes. Four E and a. Uh. Start all full bars with a number one. And remember to number all beats consecutively. So in our last measure, four double beam sixteenth notes at the beginning of a measure, one e and a, then two beamed eighth notes, two and, then two pairs of double beam sixteenth notes, three e and a, and we end with two single eighth notes, four and. Here is a video showing the correct counting and clapping for this particular example. One, two. And 
Now we'll explore three examples where we mix single sixteenth notes with double beam sixteenth notes and various rhythms that we've already looked at in previous tutorials. Example number one starts out with four double beam sixteenth notes. Every note gets its own clap, one e enda, followed by two single beamed eighth notes, two and, and then four more double beam sixteenth notes starting on count three, three e enda, and we end with a quarter rest, no clap, on count four. The next measure starts with two eighths, a single eighth note followed by an eighth rest, a clap on the note, hands apart on the rest, one and. Then a quarter note on count two, four double beam sixteenth notes on count three, three e and a, and two eighths at the end, a rest and a note, four and. The four hands apart, the and is clapped. The next measure starts with a quarter rest, hands apart, one, and then we have four eighth notes, and the middle two eighth notes are tied together. So we count two and three and, we keep our hands together on count three after we clap the and after two. So it would look like this, two and three and. We end the measure with four double beamed sixteenth notes, four eanda. The last measure starts with four double beam sixteenth notes, one eanda, hands apart on our eighth rest on count two, and clap on the and after count two for the eighth note, two and, and we finish with a half note, clapping on count three, and keeping our hands together while we continue on to count four, three, four. Here's a video showing the correct counting and clapping for example number one. One e and a two and three e and a four. One and two, three e and a four and one. Two and three and four e and a one e and a two and three, four. Let's take a look at a second example where now we include some single sixteenth notes and single eighth notes. The first measure looks really messy, and it is. That's why the second half of the measure looks better because we use the beams. In the first half of the measure, we start out with two single eighth notes and clap one and. We follow that with four single sixteenth notes and count two eanda. The second half of the measure is actually the same rhythm as the first half, and it's much easier to read because of the way we beam them. So the next two eighth notes coming on count three are beamed three and and the four sixteenth notes are double beamed, four eanda. Measure two starts with a quarter rest, hands apart, one, and then we have two eighths, a rest followed by a note, hands apart, and then a clap, two and. The next four notes are all sixteenth notes. The first two are double beamed together, and the next two are singled, but we still count three e and a. Uh. The measure ends with two beamed eighth notes four and. Measure three starts with a three count dotted half note. We clap on count one, keep our hands going for counts two and three. One, two, three. Then we have simply four sixteenth notes, but the first two are singles and the next two are double beamed, but we would still count them for eanda. The last measure has four sixteenth notes together, double beamed, one eanda, then two quarter notes tied together. So we clap on count two, keep our hands together, and continue to count three, two, three. The measure ends with two eighths, a note followed by a rest, four and. Here's a video showing the correct counting and clapping for example number two. One and two e and a three and four e and a one, two and three e and a four and one, two, three, four e and a one e and a two, three, four and. Our last example is going to combine eighths and sixteenths together in combination. The first half of the first measure and the second half of the first measure are the same pattern. 
Notice how much easier it is to read when we use the beams and the double beams. It starts out with a single eighth note followed by two sixteenth notes. So we start out with one on the eighth note and and a uh, on the two sixteenths. One and a. Uh. The next is the same, but we start on count two. Two and a. Uh. The third beat is the same as the first two, but looks much cleaner with the beam and the double beam. Notice how the eighth note has a single beam and the two sixteenth notes after it are double beamed. Three and a. Uh. The last beat in this measure, number four, is the same as number three. We just start on a different number, four and a. Uh. Measure two flip-flops measure one. So instead of starting with an eighth note, and then two sixteenths, we start with the two sixteenths and end with an eighth. Again, notice how much cleaner and easier it is to read when we use the beams in the second half of the measure. So we start out with our two sixteenths and end in an eighth, one E and, followed by two E and, then three E and, but with double beams for the sixteenth and a single beam for the eighth, 4 E and, again, double beam for the 16th and a single beam for the 8th. The third measure is much more like something you would see in a real piece of music. It starts out with two 8th notes beamed together, 1 and. Then we have one 8th note beamed with two double beam 16th notes, 2 and a. Uh. Then two 8th notes, 3 and. And on beat four, the sixteenth notes come first, four E and. The last measure has four double beam sixteenth notes, one E and a, uh, followed by an eighth rest, which will be two, and then and a uh, for the two double beam sixteenth notes, two and a. Uh. Beat three starts with two sixteenth notes and then ends with an eighth. 3 E and, and the eighth is a rest so our hands are apart. The whole example number three ends with two eighth notes beamed together, 4 and. Here is a video showing the correct counting and clapping for example number three. One and a two and a three and a four and a one E and, two E and, three E and, four E and, one and two and a three and four E and, one E and a two and a three E and, four and. This tutorial explained how to count and clap single and double beamed sixteenth notes. It provided examples of rhythm patterns containing a mixture of notes and rests that included both single and double beamed sixteenth notes. It introduced the concept of combining one eighth note with two sixteenth notes. The next tutorial in this series focuses on dotted quarters and eighths in combination.